And welcome in to the Morgan and Kathy Wooten Gymnasium at DeMatha Catholic High School for this WCAC regular season basketball event between the DeMatha Stags and the Paul VI Panthers. I'm Corey Puffett, joined by Neil Murphy. Neil, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing really good. Besides the big game here, Rod Bellanis, assistant at Howard, just brought me a gift bag from Howard University from Kenny Blakeney of his Under Armour stuff. So I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about life. And then we still got the game. There you go. Big game tonight. The 12 and 1 Panthers here to visit the 10 and 4 Stags. Both teams have played a few early season conference games. Both teams have three wins. The Stags do have one loss on their ledger, that Tuesday night game against O'Connell that you saw here on DM Stags TV last week. But DeMatha bounced back with a big win against the Heights and looking to pull off an upset against a very highly ranked Paul the Sixth team. Well, the Stags have to work cut after tonight. Um, you know, sometimes teams have five good players. PVI may have three at every position. They're deep, they've, they're big inside. Uh, some of the polls have them ranked second in the country, sixth in the country. They've got speed, they've got quickness. They got one guy going to Maryland, another guy's committed to Duke. So, you know, it's always, always a great game when these two teams get together and people ask me, do I miss not coaching? Well, this is what I miss, the big time environment. A lot of people are here. Uh, Dutch Morley's here with the class of 78, that undefeated team. They had a pregame meeting at Lido's, and then they're up here, so a lot of people in the crowd. Uh, stands pretty well full. We're starting to fill up around the top ring here. Student section is packed. They've got one of their theme nights going on. I don't know how to describe it. You're a little bit younger than me. You might know what's going on there, but some sort of crazy outfit thing that they're calling, um, and it should be a great game. And we're going to turn it down to the PA announcer for just a few moments. Stick with us. Between the visiting Paul the Six Panthers and the 2022-2023 Damatha Stags. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise and remove all headgear for the invocation to be delivered by Father Damien. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Strong and faithful God, as we for this athletic event, we ask you to bless these athletes, keep them safe from injury and harm, instill in them respect for each other, and reward them for their perseverance. Bless all who have gathered for this game, students, parents, and visitors. Inspire all to have a true, sports, true spirit of sportsmanship and a value for others in all of us. May we have a Christ-like attitude. Let us also remember those men and women in uniform of our nation who daily protect us from terrorism and harm within our own country and who keep safe the victims of international war and violence. We pray that the Lord will guard them in the palm of his hand and return them safely to their families and homes. Lead us all to the rewards of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. St. John de Matha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain standing and direct your attention to the court for the singing of our national anthem by DeMatha Freshman, a member of Voices of DeMatha, and recently selected to the All-State Junior Chorus, Mr. Jesse Clemens. dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that 
Belter flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jesse Clemen with our national anthem. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the visiting, Paul the Six Panthers. A junior center, number zero, Patrick Gongba. A uh, junior forward, number four, Isaiah Abraham. A uh, junior guard, number three, Ben Hammond. A uh, junior guard, number 24, Darren Harris. And a senior guard, number five, Deshaun Harris-Smith. The managers for the Panthers are Molly Beitenheis, Mackenzie Hoopnagel, Sophia Prouty, and Lauren Dominic. Assistant coaches are Brandon Broadnax, Lamar Butler, Phil Hubbard, Katie Tinsley, Anthony Moses, Rocky Parrish, Tracy Williams, Curtis Simons, Miles Tate, and Morello Best. The head coach of the Paul the Six Panthers is Glenn Farello. Damatha, are you ready? The lights go out in three, two, one. PG County, it's time to meet the starting five for the 2022-2023 Samantha a 6A junior center, number one, Malcolm Thomas. A 6'4 senior forward, number zero, Logan Lewis. A 6'3", senior guard, number four, Mason So A 6'2", senior guard, number five, Isaiah Arnold. And a six foot senior guard, number two, Jaden Winston. The staff for the Stags, spotlight operators are Owen Kramer and Pat Moran. Managers are Travis Jones, Jordan Gibson, Terrence Getty, Ian Mackle, and Jaden Gooden. The trainers are Jennifer Redding, Ava Grease, Haley Russ, and Wendy Norris. The assistants are Travis Bergdahl, Isaac McDeal, Kurt Samuels, and Wade Summa. And the head coach of the DeMatha Stags in his first season is Mike Jones. back up here in the booth as we get set for tip off. Logan Lewis, Malcolm Thomas, Jaden Winston, Mason So, and Isaiah Arnold, your starters for the Stags. Patrick Gongba, Ben Hammond, Isaiah Abraham, Deshaun Harris-Smith, and Darren Harris, your starters for Paul the Sixth. And we are ready, and the Stags win the opening tip. That's Jaden Winston. TVI starts out man to man. Isaiah Arnold for three, opens up the scoring for the Stags. Quick three by Isaiah Arnold, now when we get that, we get to get in our press. And then a turnover 
And that's going to be knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay Stag's ball. Logan Lewis driving in the lane. Stag's ball on the baseline. Little short on that one. PVI takes the rebound, and that's going to be lost out of bounds. And the initial indication was that it's PVI ball, but I think they just changed that call. Well, you know how a player never talks referee out of a call? It might have actually worked there. <laughs> uh, to me, it made the right call. Of course, I'm a little bit biased, but Stag's ball. Just a little bit. So that was out off of Deshaun Harris-Smith. Malcolm Thomas passes off to Winston. Lewis back to Winston. Looking for Isaiah Arnold, open for three, and he hits it. His second three already in the game. Nice job by the Stags. Isaiah Arnold caught it, ready to fire, knocks it down. Six nothing Stags. Great start by DeMatha. Driving in the lane. No good, but we got a whistle. Student section not happy, but Deshaun Harris-Smith will go to the line. Deshaun Harris-Smith has committed to the University of Maryland just up the street, where we already have another left-hander up there in favorites of DeMatha. Yeah. Jameer Young, who's rumored to be in the building. I have not seen him yet. Jameer That's what I heard, too. Jameer coming off a great game the other night. Did just about everything for the Terps. Yeah, he's been very strong this year for the Stags. Well, it or helps, for, if, for it the helps if you've had a good math teacher. <laughs> had a good math teacher, things fall in line. Both free throws good for Harris Smith. Mason So carries the ball up court for DeMatha. Coach Jones would love to see Mason So get an early start here. As there, Arnold already off to a hot start. He's going to drive in the lane, pulls up. Passes off to Winston. He's going to take the floater. That was a little too deep. Soft on the shot and could not come up with the rebound. PVI controls it. And a walk. They call Patrick Gangba for the walk. Jaden Winston doing what he does best, pressuring the ball, forcing the other team into turnovers. Stags ball on the baseline. 6-2. to two. The math is up early. And a deep two from the corner by Malcolm Thomas. That's a nice shot for Malcolm the junior. Malcolm Thomas just got pa Patrick Gamba guard him, just kind of relaxed a little bit, let him tee it up. Went up for the dunk. Good defense by Malcolm Thomas, but the follow by Isaiah Abraham. Two points for the Panthers. Panthers playing a little volleyball on the rim there. Had a couple shots at it, knocked it down. High ball screen coming, Malcolm Thomas. Mason So takes the handoff from Isaiah Arnold. So back to Thomas. Malcolm Thomas drives in, some contact. Tried to finish but couldn't. And Gongba rips it away and a foul called on the floor on Malcolm Thomas. Patrick Gombo was not relaxed in that one, contested fairly well. Malcolm, maybe a little bit of frustration there, kind of jumped the rebounder, didn't need to, certainly want to pick up fouls, you know, 80 feet from the bucket. Eight to four stags up. This is Ben Hammond with the ball for the Panthers. Passes it off to Harris Smith. Panthers working it around outside. Hammond inside looking for Gongba. Good defense by the Stags. Prevents a clean reception. And Mason So comes out of there with it. Driving up court. Mason So going to try and take it all the way. No, he passes off to Logan Lewis in the corner who drives in. A little baby hook shot. Just in front of the rim. Couldn't get it to fall. A.J. McCleary and Adam Fox sub into the 
lineup for the Stags. Again, Stags stay man to man. Oh, great job. Ball scooped out of there. Jaden Winston gets it and did not dribble quickly enough. Ref says he carried it, calls it travel. Great hustle by the Stags. A.J. McClary knocking the ball loose. Jaden Winston picking it up, but just wasn't able to get the ball on the floor to start his dribble. And he was trying to decide whether to drive himself or to try and pass it off. And it said Ben Hammond is there. That's going to be a deep two-pointer. PBI takes advantage of the turnover by the Stags. 8-6, to 4.26 to go. Adam Fox in the game, passes off. Gets it inside to Malcolm Thomas, and they're going to call a foul. He'll shoot two. A little crowded in there, but Jaden, nice little drop off there to Malcolm Thomas. You go to the front of the rim, good things will happen. Little crowd in here. You mentioned earlier, I mean, this is one of the biggest crowds we've had for a game since maybe before the pandemic. It's been a while. We had some good we, ones last year. We had a couple of good ones last year, but I think a lot of people are a little more nervous. People are finally starting to get a little bit more comfortable. Got all these boosters out there available for us to take, keep ourselves a little bit safer. First free throw good by Malcolm Thomas. He'll take another one after this line change from Paul the Sixth. Christian Gerdock checks in. Jordan Smith is in. And Garrett Sundra also in for the Panthers. Oh. That one off the back iron. Good living. Yeah, just a, a dead bounce. Thomas able to find a dead spot <laughs> on the rim there. That's why he likes shooting at home. Got Jacob Wallace in the game, playing defense here. Floater no good. Stags with the rebound. This is A.J. McCleary, passes off to Winston. Stags with an early lead. Looking right a little set here. Trying to stay in control. McCleary, not a clean catch, but he does come up with it. Gets it to Malcolm Thomas. Tried to pass it across court to Adam Fox, but intercepted under the basket by Sundra. Christian Gerdick with the good hands. Malcolm Thomas made the right read. He just wasn't able to deliver the pass. And an offensive foul off the ball as Deshaun Harris-Smith was trying to get in close to the bucket. Deshaun Harris-Smith, what Coach Wooten would call a slasher, always looking to attack the rim, always looking to get in the paint. Sometimes the calls go for him. That one went against him. Wallace passes off to McCleary. McCleary to Winston. Winston working against Jordan Smith. Drives in the lane, blocked by Darren Harris. And PVI off and running. Harris-Smith drives in. And he puts it up off the glass over McCleary. Inbound pass deflected out of bounds by Paul the Six. It'll stay with DeMatha, and it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. Looks like they forgot to tell the referees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, now so we got a 30 second there you ball. Go. <laughs> Great finish by Deshaun Harris Smith. As he said, he's a slasher. He attacks the rim, took his body in, created the contact, and it was able to pull it off, lay it off the glass. So 3.05, 10-8. The math are hanging on to the early lead here. Great start with Isaiah Arnold. Two set plays to start. Sags got up 6-0. PBI working their way back in using their size inside. DeMatha not playing quite as aggressively, quite as quick as what we have seen over the past few games that we have called this season. Against a better opponent, do you usually try to slow the game down a little bit, Neil, or at least a team who is ranked so highly. I well, don't want to say a better opponent. We, could, we might still win this game. You know, we've made a couple foul shots. We had the 2-3, so when we score, we're going to get the press up. Problem is, when we don't score, TVI is going to run the ball right down our throat, so we got to change ends and get back. Offensively, I kind of like our pace. You know, we're not playing 100 miles an hour. Got to try to limit the turnovers. Maybe could have been an over-the-back 
there, but no call by the ref, and now we're going to get a call underneath the basket. That's going to be on number 22, J.J. Massacoy, who just came into the game. Good effort by the Stags. A couple of real good looks by J.J. Wasn't able to finish. Needs to hold off on the last one, a little over the back call there. Sometimes you just have to live with the miss. Ben Hammond passes off to Harris Smith. Hammond with the ball again up at the top. Stags pressure taking PVI back towards half court. Yeah, he got out of there, passed off, and the three is good by Garrett Sundra. Garrett Sundra, he's the guy that really started to come on the end of the year. Gives PVI the lead. Mason So pulled up. Short jumper, no good. And now Paul the sixth going to get an open look from three. And that's good in the corner by Deshaun Harris-Smith. Back-to-back threes for the Panthers. And if he can make that shot consistently, the people up the road in College Park are going to be very happy. We know he can attack the rim. If he can knock down the three, he becomes almost unguardable. Two possessions take PVI from down two to up four. Adam Fox trying to drive inside, lost the ball, regained it, and then couldn't knock it down. Sig's not doing a great job of recognizing the size that PVI has in there. And now another open look from three. This one no good by Sundra, but PVI chases it down. And now a great spin move under the basket, and Gerdock has it. Gerdick from point blank, able to finish inside. PVI in a bit of a run now. Stags need a good one here. It's been a little bit for the Stags. Massacoy can't convert at the rim. Ran right into the teeth of the defense. And now another open look. This one, Harris Smith. This time, no good. And Mason So is able to pull down the board. Adam Fox on the other end. Oh. The stadium wants a call there. Missed but one there, off the board. Yeah, that was Locked off the backboard. PVI. And Ben Hammond converts on the other end. That was a big missed call by the refs. Three referees out there. I think if we had a fourth one, that would have been his job to make that call. <laughs> Jacob Wallace tries to pass that one off. Try to get to Adam Fox. Could not do it. Isaiah Arnold, Jaden Winston, Malcolm Thomas back in the game. Make sure we get our subs right. Anthony Brown checks in for PVI. Now there at least Jacob Wallace had the right idea. He took it into the big guys. He attacked him, but he was looking to be a passer rather than a scorer. Yep. You know, they've got some trees in there. They're going to be hard to score over. If they don't block the shot, we're just going to miss a lot. So drive, draw the help find the open player. Somebody's coming to help, they're leaving somebody open. Anthony Brown with the ball, working on Mason So. Stags in a good defensive possession here. Ben Hammond up near half court. He's gonna get some help, but no, nice defense by Malcolm Thomas, and on the other end, a great finish by Jaden Winston to still get it off the glass in the basket against Garrett Sundra, and he'll go to the line. Big play by the senior. Great turn of events for the Stags. PVI holding for one with the 18 to 10 lead, looking to go up 20 to 10. Stags knock it loose. A nice throw ahead of Jaden Winston. Beautiful finish, and Mason So. Oh, that wound up working. Exactly, Make it a four-point play. <laughs> exactly the way Coach Jones drew that up. I heard him talking about that in the last timeout. Good to see Mason So get on the scoreboard. We're back 18 to 14. So pretty good first quarter. PVI showing why they're the number two ranked team in the country. Country they've done it from everywhere. They had some finishes inside. They rebound offensively. Their post players can score. They've knocked down a couple threes. It's been a little bit of everything. Stags early start with the threes again. I think maybe we're trying to finish too much over the big guys inside. Become more with the idea of let's draw in the lane, get the help. When the help comes, let's find the open man for the baby jumper, maybe the kick out three, maybe a post player finish inside. But if we attack that second guy and try to score over him, he's not going to get any smaller. 
PVI went on a double digit run in the middle of that first quarter. Stags had a 10 to eight lead. In fact, they had a 10 six lead at one point. That flipped to an 18 to 10 advantage for Paul the sixth. But four quick points there at the end of the quarter have DeMatha down by four points as we get set to start this second quarter. And as I looked at the poll today, like I said, Max Prep, I think, had uh, PVI at two. ESPN had at number six. I also saw Gonzaga at 21 and St. John's College High School at number 24. So the WCSC well represented there. Probably drop a little bit as we get into the season because, that's right, we all play each other. Yes. Uh, so it's really hard to go through the league undefeated. Everybody beats everybody at some point, and hopefully the Stags will be part of that equation. PVI ball at half court, quarter number two. Over the next three weeks, we'll be playing those other two ranked teams. We have St. John's next week, Gonzaga two weeks after that. We'll talk about that a little bit later as Deshaun Harris-Smith is forced to take a timeout after a really nice trap by the DeMatha defense in the corner. Well, I kid before, but that trap was just like Coach Jones threw it up in terms of PBI got the ball over half court. They trapped him in the corner. We got two players there, plus you got the backcourt line and the sidelines, perfect trap, forces PBI to use the timeout. Yep, just nine seconds into the second quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, Stags will be in action at Ireton on Friday. Then yep. they fly up to Massachusetts. The hoop holes this weekend. It's always the same weekend. And they play Sunday against Bishop Lachlan. And then we're back here next Tuesday against St. John's. Yep, that'll College be a big one. Another big one, I should say. This is a big game right here. This is the game that DeMatha is fully focused on right now. Mason So comes up a little bit closer on Harris Smith. Harris Smith gets it back Ten from Anthony shot, Brown. Clock. He's going to look to attack. Oh, Steps step back, back three. And he knocks it down. Mason So couldn't close again in time. Great step back jumper there. Good defense, tough shot. All right. But he's able to knock it down. That's what good players do. Mason So is able to lead Malcolm Thomas into an open area, but Patrick Gongba able to close. And then on the other end, Harris Smith with the slam. Jaden Winston drives nice in, shot. nice dish. Gets it to Malcolm Thomas who jams it down. And that's what we're talking about. Penetration by Jaden Winston. Didn't try to ram it down his throat. On the other end, we're going to get a foul. Harris Smith will go to the line to shoot a free throw after making the two. But that was a really nice dish by Jaden Winston. And a really good finish by Malcolm Thomas, too, because Patrick Gamba didn't really bite on Winston's drive, but still was not able to react in time because of how strong Malcolm Thomas finished. Now, if I'm Coach Jones on the other end, Two possessions in a row. The guy who you know is the A player who's going to take it all the way. He gets all the way to the rim. Can't have that. we got to stop the ball out front. If he makes a tough contested three, you're going to have to live with that. But you can't let him get to the rim. Harris Smith fails to convert the three-point play. Tag slow it down a little bit, trying to run the set. Logan Lewis had a tough time getting open. Malcolm Thomas at the top of the key. He's going to drive in, and he can't make the shot, but a great job to force the contact. Gets the foul call on Gongba. Two free throws coming for Malcolm Thomas. Maybe not a great situation there. Had him a little on his hip, but he, he took it to the basket. He was aggressive. He got rewarded. He'll get two foul shots and a foul on the big guy. Makes good, the first. Good looking stroke there by Malcolm. 25-17, 6.33 to go in the second quarter. No good on the second free throw. Got to convert those, and they're going to say that is out on Jaden Winston. So Paul the sixth will take it from the baseline. You weren't kidding earlier when you said that Paul the Six is deep at every position. DeMatha really struggling to contain them on defense. Offense not really clicking yet, but that would be okay if PVI wasn't scoring. Yeah. 
They're getting open way too much. DeMatha trying to tighten up. And that was a nice job by Malcolm Thomas to get the block, but then there was some contact after that. And it looks like they got Logan Lewis for the foul. Tough call there. I think Coach Jones agree. Yeah, Coach Loose Jones ball rebound. His case. Logan Lewis got nabbed with the foul. Looked like there were four guys in there kind of mixing it up. We're supposed to get those calls at home. PVI ball on the baseline. First uh, personal foul on Logan Lewis. Harris Smith passes into Gongba, gets to Hammond. Hammond on Mason So. Quick first step there, might have had Mason So beat, but off the ball, there's an offensive foul. Legal screen, screen there by Patrick Gamba. That's two in the last couple minutes. So what do you do? You take out the 6'10 guy, you put another 6'10 guy. <laughs> Christian Gerdock Christian in Christian Gerdock, now. who really, <laughs> another guy who came out at the end of the year. Christian just a sophomore. Isaiah, uh, sorry, Isaiah Arnold got open, created his own shot, knocked down the deep three. Now, I haven't had a coach for a while, but I'd get Isaiah a few more looks at it. Yeah, made the first two shots he took today, both of them threes, makes that one. But on the other end, that's Isaiah Abraham with the tough finish underneath. Good trap by the Stags. TVI with their size, just able to see over the top of it, able to get the ball inside for the easy shot. Isaiah Arnold out to Jaden Winston. To Matha, really trying to find some opening. There's Mason So for three, high off the back side of the rim. And then Logan Lewis with the rebound, but loses it between his legs. That one out of bounds and Stags basketball. Now it's PVI's turn to say we can't believe it. Oh, and the refs changed their mind. Well, the ref on the far side of the floor, he said PVI ball. The ref who's on the baseline right now would have had it to Mathis ball. Did they go to New York for that one? They went to New York for the <laughs> review. It was a pretty quick review. Coach Ferrillo threw down the red flag. Took it out of his sock, I believe. 27-20, 5-14 to go. Hammond having trouble getting it in, but he does Ooh. find Garrett Sundra. Might have missed one there in terms of the walk. Yep. Chris McElveen is in the game for the Stags. Oh. Tough finish against Malcolm Thomas. Contorted his body to keep the ball away from Thomas. And now Isaiah Arnold for three again. This time cannot get it to fall. Good look, great kick out, stepping into it just a little bit short. Sundra had an opening. Good job by Chris McElveen to close. PVI had to reset after working it inside. No good, offensive rebound. And Hammond will reset once again. Gerdick with the rebound, kicked it out. PVI on the attack again. Mason So, good job to keep his feet. Stay between Sundra and the basket. And now on the other end, tough work against Malcolm Thomas. And Paul the Six comes up with it again, but too late, shot clock violation. So that turnover gives it back to the Stags, closing in on the halfway mark of this second quarter. It's a 29-20 ball game. 16 fouls on the Stags, the next one will put PVI in the bonus. Great block there by Christian Gerdock against Malcolm Thomas. And now on the other end, they were looking. Harris Smith a little upset that he didn't get the alley-oop. He was looking for that with Gerdock, but Gerdock able to finish anyway. Put another two on the board for PVI. Stags working around to Mason So. He's going to pull up over Gerdock. No good. Again, short off the front iron. PVI running out again. And on the other end, that's going to be a blocking foul on Chris McElveen. Good attempt by Chris in terms of trying to defend the bucket. Kind of slid underneath the shooter a little bit. That'll send Garrett Sundra to the line to shoot two. First one rims out. 
Get a couple of substitutions as Prashant Hill checks in. Jacob Wallace comes back into the game. Darren Harris back in the game for PVI. PVI in the bonus now, so they'll be shooting free throws going forward in this quarter. Jacob Wallace takes the ball up court. Jaden Winston, I don't think he's been off of the court yet in this game. He's got to be getting tired. Quick pass inside, Prashant Hill. Nice turnaround, but couldn't get it to fall against Sundra. And we got a whistle. That was Jacob Wallace and Darren Harris fighting for the ball. Great job by Jacob Wallace on the rebound. Tried to retain his balance to get the kick out pass. Foul on PVI. Second personal against Darren Harris. Jordan Smith has checked in the game for PVI. Harris will take a seat. DeMatha ball, one foul away from DeMatha being in the bonus. Wallace, catch and shoot for three in the corner. Something right about that. He worked hard to give the Stags the extra possession. He's able to knock it down. Sandra, they're working it inside, taken away. McElveen ahead to Wallace. And that's going to be a charge as Sundra was able to get back and plant his feet. Tremendous job by Sundra. Not easy for a big guy to run back. He got into there in the block area, stood in there. Jeremy, the bigger guy's looking to block shots. He took one for the team. Thirty-two twenty-three, just under three. And number three, Ben Hammond, bringing the ball up court, working on Chris McElveen. Deshaun Harris-Smith to Sundra. Gets it to Isaiah Abraham against Isaiah Arnold. Everybody's touched the ball in this possession for PVI. Almost threw it away there, but a good job by Abraham to regain possession. Five on the shot clock. Hammond driving in, trying to get it inside and... With two seconds on the clock. I think the baseline ref was ready to call the foul. I think he did call the foul, but then somebody but the else walk, came in and overruled him with the walk. The yep. walk would have occurred before the foul. Yep. What a tough situation there for the Stags. All right, so really Jacob hard Wallace has knocked down the three. Foul. Isaiah Arnold has got three. Let's see if we move the ball around a little bit, find find an open shooter here. Jaden Winston started to drive in, pulled up, got it to Prashant Hill. Couldn't knock it down, and that's going to be a kick ball on Jacob Wallace, but still a good job to keep the ball from getting into the hands of Deshaun Harris-Smith. PVI ball on the baseline. Harris-Smith will handle the inbound as the Stags bring Malcolm Thomas back into the game. get that height back. He's had a tough assignment down there in the painted area, but he's done a pretty good job so far tonight. Open look, no, never mind. Nice job by Jacob Wallace to close on Ben Hammond. That's gonna be out of bounds, and off of Hammond is the call, Stag's ball. Now, PVI obviously playing really well, but one thing that they need to understand, if Jaden Winston's around, they got to be a little bit stronger with the ball. He's going to jump. Whether he's guarding the ball or not, they're going to try and trap. He's going to be very aggressive. And Jacob Wallace focused a little too much on getting his man to leave his feet, carried the ball an extra step, and that'll be a turnover. It's a little too quick. If they're going to bite on the pump fake, they're going to bite. You don't have to rush it. Stag still man to man. Look for them if two guys cross, maybe to trap a little bit. Hammond finds his man inside. That's Christian Gerdock. And it's good vision there by Ben Hammond to find him. He was deep in the corner and got it all the way down under the basket to Christian Gerdock. And DeMatha has to take another uh, timeout here. Well, a little miscommunication by the Stags. They had the screen out top. Christian Jordan just rolled to the front of the rim. You got to stop the layup first, right? 
So whether we're helping or not, you got to guard the guy who's two feet from the rim. So we got 34-23 here. A little timeout. PBI, they're in action tomorrow. They've got the Heights. And then they'll go up to the Hoop Hall on uh, Sunday. And they're going to play Roselle Catholic, who I believe at least was highly ranked at the beginning of the year. And then they come back and they've got Ireton next week. And Glenn Ferrillo, a mainstay at PBI, very successful there. He's in, I think, about his 16th year. Uh, if we go back in time, he was the head coach at Roosevelt, just around the corner from here. Uh, back uh, late 90s, early 2000. Uh, we used to, back when Coach Wooten was coaching, we would always scrimmage them on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Excuse me, the Friday after Thanksgiving. We'd scrimmage over there. And you mentioned Bishop Ireton. I just realized, I don't think we play Bishop Ireton at home this year. Well, we've got that split division thing where some teams will play twice and others will play once. Mason So. will fake out as he pretended to drive in the lane. Get off to McCleary. Back to So for three. No good. So's had a really hard time getting that shot to fall. No, it wasn't a bad shot, but it wasn't a great shot. I think at this point, Sag's got to get some great ones. Ben Hammond has a path to the basket, pulls up. Great baby jumper there. Just hung in the air for it. Junior under control, does a great job handling the ball. Had his band meet, man beat, wasn't in a rush, kept the guy in his back, hit the little baby jumper. Agent McCleary back to so, thinks better of that one, gets it off to Winston. Gets a call from the sideline. And a Coach 10 Jones. on the shot clock. Drives Great. in. Oh, oh man, mishandled by Mason So, and then too strong on the shot, trying to make up for it. Almost stolen away there. And then knocked out of bounds, laying out for it. A.J. McCleary giving up his body to knock that one out of bounds to prevent a fast break opportunity for PVI. 20.3 on the clock, a 13 point game here as Christian Gerdock's gonna check out for this last little run of the quarter. See if the Sags can finish this quarter the way they finished the first quarter with the stop and a couple of buckets. It's gonna be hard to do that right now. PVI trying to run down the clock without giving DeMatha the ball back and wow, Deshaun Harris Smith. For three, Winston puts it up on the run, no good. And it is going to be a 16 point game. Paul the sixth in the lead at the end of the first half. Uh, great sequence right there. Not only is PVI deep and athletic, they're smart. They knew DeMath is double, so they Ben Hammond and they Sean Harris Smith. All right, you want a double team, fine. That's gonna leave one of your better scorers open. Uh, to Sean Harris Smith, knocks down the, the easy jumper, and that's why they're the number two team in the country. We'll take a short break here for halftime. We'll be back in about nine minutes. Stay with us here on DM Stags TV for second half action.
And we are back here in the Morgan and Kathy Wooten Gymnasium at DeMatha Catholic High School getting ready for the second half of this DeMatha Stags contest with the Paul the Sixth Panthers. The rough first half for the Stags, trailing by 16 as we get set to start the second half of the game. Deshaun Harris-Smith has been excellent. He has 17 buckets, the leading scorer in the game. The Stags leading scorer right now, Isaiah Arnold with nine points, all coming the way of the three ball. Yeah, I think if you're Coach Jones, you're looking at the score, all right, 39-23. Yeah, we can't go give up another 39 points in the second half, right? Because that means we have to score 50, basically, right? Um, so what are we going to do? Well, one, if Harris Smith, if he makes the threes, he makes the threes. He's a great player. We can't let him get to the rim, and he was able to get to the rim a number of times. And part of that is all five guys have to change ends and understanding if it's five on five, all right, we can trap. But if it's not five on five, it's fast break. We're going to get to the rim. Yeah. We've got to stop the ball from getting here. Sometimes we're trying to make a stop way out in front when it's a scramble situation. Get back, set our defense, and push out. On the offensive end, you know, we said it before, you want to penetrate, yes, but let's not try and score over the big guys. They're bigger than us. But if we can draw the help, find the open guys, kick it out, we need better shots. All right, particularly you got guys like Isaiah Arnold knocking down some threes. Let's see if we get his man to help. Let's find the open shooter. So it should be Stag's ball to start, and hopefully we'll get off to the start that we got at the beginning of the game with some uncontested shots. It's a team that gets the most amount of easy shots that usually wins. Right now, Paul Six winning that battle. So we are all set to go. Back at it for the second half. Mason So takes the pass from Jaden Winston. Tries to get it inside to Malcolm Thomas. That'll be a kick ball on Darren Harris. Stag's ball. Darren Harris, just a junior. Community committed to Duke University. Uh, one of the best shooters in the area. Wasn't able to get on track, but again, with 39 points, it's not like PVI really needed him in that first half. Oh, my wife will be keeping up with his career then if he's going to Duke. PVI on the run. Pass off by Harris Smith. No good by Darren Harris from three. Looked for another opportunity. He'll step inside the arc to take that shot, no good. And now DeMatha with a two on one opportunity if they can get there. Nice touch by Jaden Winston nice. off the glass and over the taller nice Darren Harris. Nice job by Jaden. Not only did he force the issue with the fast break, went right at the defender, then leered away, threw it in off the glass. Deshaun Harris Smith is going to take a foul on the floor, shot waved off. And it looks like that was called on Logan's, uh, Logan Lewis. PVI ball on the side. Oh, now they're putting it. They're going to move it to the baseline. I guess it was on the inside of that imaginary triangle they used. And entry pass and another foul. That's going to be Logan Lewis again underneath the basket. So that's going to be his second and third foul in quick succession early in this second half. Senior play by Deshaun, ball out of bounds. He just made a real hard cut to the ball, was able to catch it inside where only good things are going to happen. Two free throws here for Deshaun Harris-Smith. First one is good. Adam Fox checks in along with Isaiah Arnold. Buck the Stag down there with the student section trying to distract Harris Smith on this second free throw attempt coming up. Some interesting attempt there by the students. Not successful, Harris Smith good on both free throws. Isaiah Arnold hands it back to Mason So, trying to drive inside, contort himself to get a pass to Malcolm Thomas, but that was way too short. Now Ben Hammond passes it off, working it inside to the big man, Patrick Gongba. Malcolm Thomas doing the best that he can down there, and he forces the walk. Really physical play by Gongba underneath the basket. Malcolm Thomas able to hang in there, and Gongba winds up traveling. 
Aggressive move by the junior, kind of NBA did it. You know, that power dribble forced his way in. Just was able to finish before the referee called a walk. As there, Arnold passes off to Winston, who's going to take the three over Ben Hammond. Good read Not by Jaden. Hammond just kind of relaxed a little bit. Right, hand down, was able to lock, knock it down. Pretty tough shot to make there. And we're going to get a whistle down near the baseline. That's going to be on Adam Fox. PBI ball on the baseline. Stags looking to zone up a little bit. Again, look for Harris Smith to find an opening. Abraham into Hammond. Harris Smith passes it across. Abraham for three in the corner, no good. Mason So comes down with it off the, the rim. And on the other end, Winston was feeling it. Couldn't knock that one down. And then Adam Fox, no contact underneath. So he comes up empty. Good rebound by Fox. Oh, oh, carry. I was about to say, good rebound by Adam Fox inside, but again, just too many trees in there for PVI. Yeah, the only way that you're going to come up with anything when you actually try to take it into the teeth of defense is if there's contact, and they've done a really good job of, you know, allowing the offense to initiate that contact, so they're not getting called for those fouls. Ooh, hard block there by Gongba on Jaden Winston. PVI on the fast break and taking it that's going to be no basket, an offensive goaltend on Gongba, who was following the shot by Darren Harris, but the ball was still hovering over the net. Looked like it might go in. I couldn't tell from this angle we're a long way off, but definitely not going to count now. 41-28, 5.25 or so to go. So to Arnold. Quick spot up three on the catch, and wow, great roll. That is what you want at home. Big time move by Zan Arnold. On the move, on the curl, catch and shoot. Not an easy play. And then Mason So gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, so to speak. Got on the wrong side of the ball on that pass and wound up making contact with Deshaun Harris-Smith. One of the things I think the Stags will get better at as the year goes on, the ability to pressure and trap without fouling. You don't want to waste your fouls, whatever that is, 30, 35 feet from the bucket when the offense is in a position to score. PVI was kind of making a defensive pass there, playing it safe. Three minutes into this second half, Ashton Meeks, the freshman for the Stags, getting his first action of the night. Ben Hammond with a tough deep two there for PVI. Very impressed by the composure of Ben Hammond. Tend to read the defense, not in a rush to do anything. Obviously there are other scorers on the floor, the ability to, to read when the open shot is there. Meeks catch and shoot, no good. A little too strong on that shot. Gone, but good rebound, but tried to grab it with one hand, didn't work out, out of bounds. Stags ball on the baseline. Winston quickly passes it inside to Fox. Meeks trying to drive in. Nice find by the freshman to get it to Malcolm Thomas. And that time, there is too much contact underneath. The officials call it on Patrick Gongba. That's going to be his third personal. First team foul on PVI for this half. And we will get a timeout for the visiting team. Ashton Meeks with a nice read. Got in the lane, drew the help. Rather than try and score all over the trees, nice little drop off. To Malcolm Thomas, who'll go to the line for two. DeMatha hanging in there in this half. Still a 12 point game, but it was 16 when we took our intermission. Patience is paying off slowly and steadily. Still a long way to go. An uphill battle against a very talented Panthers squad. Yeah, we got to continue to move the ball. And again, the goal on offense, let's get some easy shots where we can get some layups, some wide open threes, or maybe get to the foul line. The PVI is very deep, but if we continue to draw fouls, I'd still rather play against some of their guys off the bench than they start. <laughs> there is a reason why they're, they're not on starting. The second team. That's right. <laughs> Malcolm Thomas will get two free throws. 
sends the first on its way, and nothing but net. Christian Gerdock will check in for Gongba. Again, big man just took his third personal foul of the game, so he'll catch some pine for just a little while. I'm sure he'll be back in the game shortly. Second free throw for Malcolm Thomas. No good. Bounced off the back in the front, and then off of Deshaun Harris-Smith's own foot. Good pressure by Jaden Winston forces the turnover. Stag's ball. Again, you got to know if Jaden Winston's around, you got to be strong with the ball. Stag's ball on the side. Chance to cut it under 10. Adam Fox going to take it himself. Again, getting into the defense. He's able to get his own rebound, and that time finishes over Garrett Sundra and draws the foul. Adam Fox has had a lot of trouble when he gets down in that area, but that time comes through real strong for the Stags. Well, he stayed with it. Didn't score in the first opportunity. He's there to gather himself. Got a little better position on the other one. He used to use his strength, draw the contact, knock it in. Stags making a little bit of a move here. They're inside of 10 already, even without that three-point play that Fox is not able to convert. Quickly finds Sundra, who turns around, takes the jumper. No good. Had the opening, but couldn't convert. On the other end, Ashton Meeks, deep three. Just a little short that time. He'd been about a half a step closer. He'd been good. And fans want a call there. Maybe been a, a walk that the officials missed. Sundra back to Deshaun Harris-Smith. Gets a pick. Passes it off to Hammond. Good defense so far in this possession inside 10, but then a wide open Ger Christian Gerdock gets it underneath the basket. Caught Malcolm Thomas napping a bit there. Stag seem to be a little confused as they've been playing zone for a couple possessions. That looked like half man, half zone, uh, resulting in a layup. Jaden Winston with the ball. Drives in. Creates just a little bit of space, couldn't get it to fall. Had to match if he wanted with the big guy on him, wasn't able to connect. Harris Smith works his way around Malcolm Thomas. Lost the ball, I don't think that was an intentional pass to Gerdock, but the big man was able to regain possession of the ball and put it in. In the right place at the right time. And we got a foul call here against Jordan Smith, the freshman for Paul the Sixth. One of three freshmen on their roster. We've seen a little bit of Anthony Brown already in this game. Got Anthony Brown on the floor right now. Quick spot up shot and it falls. That one is Charles Thomas, a sophomore in the game for the Stags. Stags look like they're in kind of a 1-2-2. Two, two. Hopefully everybody was at the team meeting, know what they're doing, looking to trap a little bit as always. Winston couldn't get there in time. And contact under the rim. That's going to be another one on Adam Fox. Big time move. There by Jordan Smith along the baseline, took the contact, pump, got to the front of the rim, almost knocked it in. He'll go to the foul line for two. First one, no good for Jordan Smith. Makes the second. Stags take possession, it's a 12 point PVI lead. Open three, no good, deep in the corner. A little bit of a heat check there by Isaiah Arnold. And now inside, freshman to freshman, working inside and a tough finish by Jordan Smith. Tough move, turned his body to shield off the defender. Kind of a little baby half hook push shot there, knocked it in. Anthony Brown with the assist. Adam Fox tries to get into A.J. McCleary, led him too much, and McCleary couldn't save it. Hmm. 
Not a bad idea. As I say, good look, bad pass. So Mason So will check in for A.J. McCleary. Deshaun Harris-Smith on Isaiah Arnold. Tries to get it across the court to Anthony Brown, but called for a travel. Just caught in between, wasn't quite sure, kind of dragged his feet as he decided where he's going to go with the ball. Sean Harris-Smith, who'll get a well-deserved break. A minute 40 to go in the third quarter. DeMatha needs a little run here at the end of this frame. Try and give themselves a chance in the fourth quarter. Good defense, though, by Ben Hammond. He's able to poke it away, and that's going to be a goaltend. I thought so on Isaiah Arnold. So that'll be two points for PBI. Good Charles attempt. Thomas, good hustle on that, but he's got no shot. The ball's already up on the rim. Those live ball turnovers make your life miserable. Mason So decides to take it himself. And it's good over Anthony Brown. Tough turnaround. Not a great shot, but certainly it's good to see Mason knock one down. We're going to need him maybe to step up a little bit here. It's good to see he had the confidence to do that. So Arnold gets beat on that sprint by Ben Hammond, able to get in between him and the basket, and then pulls up for the half floater, half jumper. Another good read by Hammond. Beat his man, was able to get in. Hit the little baby jumper. Doesn't take it in too deep. He's got that nice mid-range game. I would imagine if people start coming out on him, he'll be able to drop it off because he's so under control. 30-second timeout taken by the Stags. Paul the sixth has pushed their lead back to that halftime advantage of 16 points. It's 54-38. Five team fouls on the Stags. Three on Paul the sixth here in the second half. Yes, yeah, so obviously... You want to chip away a little bit. We're not going to get all the way back, but we're at that 16-point margin that we were at halftime. So we got 45.9. You know, if we can cut it to 14 or 12, we're still in this thing. But we can't be sloppy. We're pushing it out to 20. And then you're wondering how much time we have left if we can make the comeback. Mason So to Charles Thomas, Malcolm Thomas working inside and contact. Christian Gerdock called for the foul. Nice aggressive move by Malcolm Thomas. He's doing a really good job. He's into the foul line probably six or eight times, which you want to see. All right. Not only do we get to, to shoot the ball from here, but we draw fouls on another team's player. Took it right at Christian Gerdock that time. First free throw, no good. Floated off to the right just a bit. And took a bad bounce off the rim. Garrett Sundra reports in for uh, Christian Gerdak. Again, PVI's ability just to rotate in, particularly with their big men. And the second one, same result, no good. And Sundra tosses it in as he was falling out of bounds. Malcolm Thomas had it and lost it. Ben Hammond takes possession for the Panthers. Sundra gets it off to Brown, to Hammond. Hammond working on Winston, gets it around so to Brown. Brown driving in. Good quick hands by Malcolm Thomas prevent the easy pass to Sundra. And then two opportunities by Jordan Smith come up empty. Malcolm Ready? Thomas off one running. And that'll be out of bounds off Paul the sixth. 1.5 to go in the quarter. Stags ball on the baseline. Isaiah Arnold, tough three, no good as time was expiring. I gotta go and take care of something with one of our cameras real quick. I'll be right back. 
So Leave I'll it in your I'll, I'll trusted hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got 54-38 stags right where we were at halftime. Made a little bit of a run there. We're making some good decisions in here. And then PVI asserted himself down the other end. So obviously going to start with on the defensive end. Uh, let's see, 39, gave up 15 points that quarter. Defensively, not too bad. But we got to stop them on the other end because obviously we only scored 15 too. So it's got to be done with the pressure. We've got 14 fouls, so we, we can be aggressive here, look to create some havoc. And then on the offensive end, again, let's not take it in too deep. Sometimes I think we're trying to force the issue, trying to overpower them. But again, with their size, that's really going to be tough. So it should be PVI ball, I believe, coming out of the, uh, to start the fourth quarter. And Sags looking to get a stop here early on. Partner Corey Puffer off taking care of some technical difficulties. I guess one of our cameras went out. He's adjusting, making sure that it's back on. Hammond looking to attack. We got 15 on the shot clock. He's got Mason So. Ira Smith in the lane, stolen by Jaden Winston. Sags on the run. Little kick out, Isaiah Arnold for three. Nice job. Didn't force the issue, found the open shooter, found the, the guys who are making shots for the Stags. Good Mid possession. Just missed Isaiah Arnold's fifth three of the game there. Right now we're working with just one camera, but uh, hopefully get that second one back up shortly as Patrick Gongba gets it underneath. Good find from the outside. Certainly if you look at the discrepancy in the store here, the difference might just be the uncontested shots from point blank by the PVI big men. One of the few easy opportunities the Stags have found and taken underneath the rim. Mason So goes in for the layup. Just beat by that pass was Jaden Winston and Harris Smith just trying not to get stepped on down there as he takes the contact and will go to the line. That foul charged to Malcolm Thomas. Yeah, I mean, Jaden's so good at wreaking havoc with the defense like that, but when he does come up empty, he's going to leave our back line exposed and somebody's probably going to have to take the foul, particularly if it's uh, Deshaun Harris Smith who's been having an unbelievable game. Save for that free throw, which is no good. He'll get another one. Adam Fox checks in for Charles Thomas. Second one is good. 57, 43. Adam Fox with it at the top, working on the freshman. Good overhead lead pass to Winston to throw his man open against Ben Hammond, who had the tight defense. And now on the other end, trying for that spot up three, no good. And then Mason So caught it but didn't put it on the floor in time off the pass from Isaiah Arnold. Refs call a walk. Six fifteen to go, 57-43. Stags down 14. Then have him running the offense. Trying to find an open man. Tight defense right now for the Stags. They're gonna get it into Gongba, working against Malcolm Thomas. 
Ooh. Oh, man, that's a tough call right there. Thomas got his hand out. It looked like he got the ball, but there was some contact along with it, according to our official. And Gongba will go to the line to shoot two. Gamba big across the chest there, was banging with Malcolm Thomas. They kind of let that go a little bit, and then appeared to lose the ball as he went up, and I thought Malcolm made a good block. First free throw good by Gongba. That foul, the seventh on the stack, so that puts PVI into the bonus. Jacob Wallace checks into the game for the Stags. Good looking stroke by Gamba. Nice spin on the ball. And he does it again, two for two on that trip. Once again, a 16 point lead. That has been the largest advantage of the game. We've seen it a couple of times now. Jaden Winston. To Jacob Wallace. DeMatha working really hard just to get separation from their defenders. And Jaden Winston there is able to get Ben Hammond oh. off his feet and a great job by Malcolm Thomas to hold up as he was going up to try and clean it up. Nice little move by Jaden Winston. You don't often see the mid post up and under move like that. And on the other end, Jaden Winston once again, this time with the quick hands in the passing lane. Oh. Couldn't finish underneath, that was Jacob Wallace. And then Adam Fox went back up on the third chance opportunity. Stags had a couple of good looks at it there. We were able to draw the foul. Adam Fox will go to the line. Looks like that was charged to Darren Harris, so that'll be his third team foul. Fox shooting two. Makes the first one. I'll give A.J. McCleary a chance to check into the game. And on the Panther side, Garrett Sundra checks in. Isaiah Abraham checks in. We'll give Gerdock and Jordan Smith a break. Or rather, uh, Gongba and Jordan Smith. No good on the second free throw. Six, kind of some tough luck on the foul shots. Looks like it seems to me like had a lot of one for twos. Then Hammond. That's a tough shot to finish, but he did. Some guys just know how to play. Adam Fox trying to drive in, gets caught along the baseline and able to pass out of it. Malcolm, ooh, ooh, hard hit and came down on his elbow. That was Jacob Wallace, but he bounces right back up. And we'll get a couple of subs for the Stags. Jaden Winston quickly back into the game. Logan Lewis into the game. A.J. McCleary will take the ball out of bounds for the Stags. And a foul on Ben Hammond. And that is now seven team fouls on PVI, so that's going to put the Stags in the bonus. Jaden Winston will shoot one and one. Cannot convert the first to get a second. Rebound by uh, Deshaun Harris-Smith. PVI working it down on their side of the court. Driving in Hammond, able to find Harris-Smith for the easy bucket. Great read, drove in. DeMatha made the mistake of trying to help up the lane, which left the basket unguarded. Easy layer for Deshaun Harris Smith. DeMatha comes back, scores down the other end. Hammond down the lane again. Harris Smith passes out to the corner. And Darren Harris for three in the corner. He's been kind of quiet most of the night. Again, a great shooter. I remember his freshman year during the COVID he played here. Hit a couple shots from the parking lot to start the game. And a great follow. That was Isaiah McCleary. Back-to-back -back twos for DeMatha, but five points in the last two possessions. Now s seven in the last three possessions for Paul the sixth, And we now have our largest lead of the game at 18 points for Paul the sixth. Three minutes, 37 seconds left as we get a timeout on the DeMatha bench. 
Coach Jones try and coach up his guys. Yeah, that last play there to Sean Harris-Smith, nice drive, was able to force the help, but we didn't help the helper, so Garrett Sunday just walks to the front of the rim, catches the miss, lays it back in. Again, another of those point blank putbacks or finishes for the PVI big guys. We know Deshaun Harris-Smith, he's going to get his. He's a very good player. But we're allowing the other guys, um, Christian Gerdick, uh, Patrick Gumba, Garrett Sundra, to finish around the rim. And that's why PVI has the lead that they have right now. So that was a full timeout, but it looks like both teams ready a bit early. So see, are they going to let the clock just run out? Officials are asking them to go ahead and take us back to the game clock. There we go. 3.37 to play. Malcolm Thomas has it stripped out of his hands by Garrett Sundra. Caught the ball on the high post, just didn't secure it. Garrett Sundra with a nice read. All right. And a walk on the other hand on Harris Smith. He'll turn the ball back over to the Stags. That was a really quick move by Garrett Sundra. I barely saw his hands flash in there to steal it away. Jaden Winston to Isaiah Arnold. Back to Winston. He's got a lane. Couldn't quite get it. Sundra was coming in in his periphery. And Winston couldn't get the touch off the glass. And now on the other hand, really nice spin move, but lost the ball, Ben Hammond. And that's... That call is going to go against PVI. Got called for the carry there. Good pressure by the Stags. Hammond maybe the first time all night. A little bit out of control. Maybe playing a little bit too fast. when I mean, he's done such a great job all night long. Taking care of the ball. Playing under control. Making the right reach. And that will take us into a 60-second timeout on the PVI bench. Some upcoming broadcasts to go ahead and uh, put on your radar. Uh, we've got a big game a week from today right here on YouTube, on DM Stacks TV, as DeMatha will be taking on St. John's. Then the following, uh, or that Friday rather, uh, we are planning to uh, cover the prep hockey game against Spalding. That will be our last hockey broadcast of the year. Uh, big game for the prep hockey team over at the Gardens Ice House in Laurel. That will be on our YouTube channel. Then the following Friday, uh, I believe, is our next game. Let me double check what's on here. Uh, yeah, that will be against Bishop McNamara. Um, and then we close out the month on J uh, January 31st against Gonzaga, another ranked team right here in uh, uh, in the Morgan Wooten, or Morgan and Kathy Wooten Gymnasium. And then finally that Friday against St. Mary's Riken. So quite a few big broadcasts coming up for us. After that, there will only be one more home game for us on our schedule. It'll be like two weeks later against Good Counsel. Mm -hmm. And that will close out our regular season. Three minutes. Isaiah Arnold. A little bit of a misstep. And may not have gathered himself quite properly to knock that in. Just a little bit off to the right. But Jaden Winston there to clean it up. Nice little finish with kind of the teardrop from in the lane. He's been affected with that tonight. And now a call on Logan Lewis. He's had a few of those off-ball fouls go against him in this game. That's now his fourth. He's pleading his case at the official. Hopefully he got something that he can work with and, and learn from there some explanation maybe so that he can not make that mistake again. Granted, we've only got two and a half minutes to play. But now Coach Jones also looking for an explanation, I think. Yeah, Isaiah Abraham looked like he got maybe poked in the eye. He kind of went off with our trainers down the other end. They were on top of that. So hopefully there's nothing major there. First free throw of the one and one is good for Ben Hammond. And Christian Gerdock will check in for Garrett Sundra. Hammond has one more free throw coming. Stags again will be in action Friday night down at Ireton and Sunday up at the Hoop Hall. Uh, check our social media pages because some of the games up at the Hoop Hall um, are broadcast 
Uh, I know in the past ESPNU or ESPN2 has had some of them. Also, Flow Hoops from time to time will have some of those games. Logan Lewis a little strong on that. Zay Arnold tried to get that around, and that's going to be a back. Yeah, I was wondering if they were going to call that that was grazed by one of the PVI players. I didn't think so, though, and that is a backcourt violation on the Stags. Well, it was one of those weird things. Like, everybody knew something was wrong, but nobody really reacted. I couldn't actually hear the whistle up here, but eventually they got it right. 2.16 to go, 69.52. Jordan Smith will take this out of bounds for Paul the sixth. Ben Hammond had a beat on his man, drives in. Six man to man, but trying to be aggressive, trying to make things happen. Hammond in the corner, no good. High bounce off the rim, and Gerdock able to secure it. And as he's passing out to Ben Hammond, Foul called off the ball on Logan Lewis. So that will foul Logan Lewis out of this game. Malcolm Thomas will check in for the Stags. Under two minutes to go. One and one for Christian Gerdock. First one is good, so he'll get another. Next foul against the Stags will put PVI in the double bonus. Jordan Hunter, another freshman, reports in, replacing Ben Hammond. Well-deserved rest, 155 to go. Gerdock misses the second one. Winston driving in, floater, nails it. Over the freshman, Anthony Brown. And a good pass ahead to Jordan Hunter. That's their third freshman. He's in the game for PVI. He couldn't convert it. And pass up to the sophomore, Ooh. Gerdock. But he initiates the contact. A.J. McCleary was ready for it and took it for the team. Good job by A.J. Big guy out on the break, not where he's comfortable. Wasn't able to pull up and avoid the contact. 130 to go, 70 to 54. Winston to Thomas to Arnold. Arnold to Malcolm Thomas. Great ball movement on that possession for the Stags, and Malcolm Thomas finishes it. Good decision by Isaiah Arnold. Dropped through off the front of the rim. Malcolm Thomas able to finish it. Gerdock across the court to Anthony Brown. Now inside. And a lot of contact on Jordan Smith. He takes it. He'll go to the foul line. Jordan Smith, as I said before, a freshman, very mature game, uses his shot fakes, uses his body well, was able to get Malcolm Thomas in the air with the shot fake. He'll go to the line for two. One on one to go. Yep. Two shots, no matter what kind of foul that was, as PVI is now in the double bonus. First free throw, no good for Smith. We'll get a substitution for PVI as Brendan Robinson checks into the game. Ooh. No good on the second. Almost rebounded into the basket off of Malcolm Thomas, but he's able to get it back and get it out to Winston, who puts it up. Again, good touch. Jaden Winston with his tweener game, making the score respectable, keeping the stags, shouldn't say within striking distance, but scoring they're, consistently down the other end. They're in a position where they're willing to play the foul game, so they'll now send Anthony Brown to the line. One freshman just missed a pair. We'll see if the other, if another freshman for PVI can convert here. First free throw, no good. Anthony Brown. <laughs> and we see Deshaun Harris-Smith checking back into the game along with Ben Hammond. The two of them have been exceptional for the Panthers tonight. Created a lot of offense. Second free throw is good for Brown. And Garrett Sundra will check in for him. 50 seconds, 71, 58. Ooh, almost lost his footing there, no call. 
Jaden Winston once again gets to his favorite spot. This time does not get it to go. And the lead pass, great lead pass to Ben Hammond by Jordan Smith and an easy bucket. Nice finish by Hammond, good hustle by Jaden Winston, but to no avail. Malcolm Thomas on the drive. He'll, He'll take go the foul. The Contact there, foul called against Garrett Sundra. And Thomas can't make the first one. Second free throw for Thomas. Makes that one. It's a 14 point game. And Harris Smith fouled. Winston and Arnold will help him up after initiating the contact that sent him to the floor. And now Harris Smith will shoot two. Harris Smith makes the first. He'll got, have a journey got the roll around the on rim. that one. <laughs> Second one, a little more straightforward, straight through the bucket. And a full line change here for PVI. You got Rod Taylor checking into the game, Brendan Robinson in the game, Jaquan Womack in the game, Jordan Hunter is checked in, and Christian Gerdock. 75-59, you got 17.3 to go. Stags ball on the baseline. Little lob. Charles Thomas sends it over to Malcolm Thomas. And he'll take the contact from Christian Gerdock. Coach Farillo is going to call over Chris and say, listen, we're up. Why are you fouling? Just put your hand up. If he shoots over, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, but let's right. not stop the clock. And on cue, the hands go up as he is talking to Gerdock. First free throw good for Malcolm Thomas. 11.3 to go. Paul the sixth will improve to 13 and one on the season, 4-0 in conference play. DeMatha will fall to 10 and six. Or rather 10 and five with a three and two record in the WCAC. Want to thank our staff who are working this game from our uh, video broadcast journalism class. Got Ryan Trindade who is uh, producing and uh, took over the uh, work on our uh, computer with the graphics, getting the bonus and everything else up there, switching between slides, all that good stuff. Got Jaden Keels on the switchboard, our main camera operator tonight was Liam Donnelly. Our secondary camera was operated by Matthew Calabrese. I think they actually switched off at halftime, but a great job to all of those guys. Thank you so much for your help. Shout out to all of our guys who worked the freshman and JV games as well. And if you're Coach Jones, obviously you're not happy with what's going to be the final output here, but you get a chance to say to your guys, listen, PVI, Right? At least on paper, the best team in the league, right? If you want to compete at that level, these are the things we need to do. It's not about me telling you, you guys are out there, you saw what happened, the things we could do, and then here are the things we need to improve on to make us competitive. Because the bottom line is it comes down to a three or four game season at the end. It's what happens in the playoffs. Yeah, you want to do well in the regular season, but it's the playoffs that matter. Here's our game plan. This is what we need to work on. Final score tonight, PVI 76, Stags 61. Tough loss for DeMatha, 
but they will get a chance to bounce back with a road game on Friday against Paul the Sixth. You can join us again right here on DM Stags TV on YouTube a week from today as DeMatha gets set to take on St. John's at home. They'll have played two games in the interim, but come back next Tuesday, join Neil and myself for another edition of DeMatha Stags basketball. For Neil, for our video broadcast journalism class, everybody here at DeMatha, I'm Corey Puffett. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay safe. See you next week.